Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. Today we are continuing with our 1001 tarot spreads. We are up to day 47, and this time we're doing one called the horseshoe spread. It is our first five card spread, and we will be continuing with the heaven and earth tarot. So why would you want to use the horseshoe spread? It is a generic spread for really any type of question. The first card is the primary concern. What is the most immediate issue in regards to your question? Card number two are the influences on that situation, on the scenario referencing back to card one. Card number three is the hidden or unknown influences that are affecting the current situation. Card number four is a suggested action, how to resolve the current situation. And card number five is the likely outcome if you do what is recommended in number four. That being said, this uses the entire tarot deck, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up and see what the cards come out being. All right. So card one, trying to make sure they stay in camera, two, three, four, and five. Wow, lots of reversals. Okay, card one, the current scenario. We have the eight of pentacles, which is prudence except it's reversed. Sounds like someone made a foolish decision. There is some sort of scenario that we feel responsible for. Happens to the best of us. Sometimes emotions get the better of us and we don't make the best decision. So if that matches what is going on in your life right now, let's see what some of those influences are that affected that decision-making process. So card number two is things we know are affecting this scenario which is the magician reversed. The magician is a mentor, a teacher, typically masculine in nature. So probably a man, or it could just be someone who is masculine in their methodology of dealing with problems. Being reversed, sounds like you took the advice of someone who you shouldn't have. Someone who claimed to be a good teacher who has proven to not be. Three, the hidden influences, things that are behind the scenes that are manipulating the events. We have the nine, yeah, nine of pentacles, material gain. In this case, someone lost money. And because of that, they're influencing choices. That might be that you are the person who lost money, so you made a foolish decision to try to recoup the losses. Or it might be that mentor figure who's trying to recoup losses through manipulating you. Card number four is the Queen of Swords. So this is the suggested action. The Queen of Swords is the person who confronts all her problems immediately and is in complete control of herself. In this case, confrontation seems like a bad plan. Do things in a more subtle manner. Don't go charging up into conflict. Instead, consider a more nuanced solution. Card number five, the likely result if you use a more circumspect method of dealing with this scenario, is the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles are the suit of the earth, of home life, of finances. Knights represent change. In this case, the Knight of Pentacles, if you follow through on the quieter, more subtle res resolution of the problem, you will recoup your losses, financially speaking. It could also be pertaining to a relationship, so either some sort of family member or something to do with those you would allow into your house. It might be resolving 
the issue with one of those individuals as well. We have reached the end of the horseshoe spread. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any disagreements with the way I have interpreted these cards or oversights I might have made, go ahead and leave a comment. I will do my best to respond. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when more videos come up. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.